Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about the selection sort algorithm. This is one of the most elementary sorting algorithms that exist and even though it is not the most efficient for large data sets given its complexity it is still really useful to know because it's really easy to understand and implement in code. So let's actually get into it. We're going to sort this array right here using the selection sort algorithm. So the base idea is that we're going to iterate through each element of the array so we're going to start out at three and then we're going to iterate through the rest of the elements that are after that element. We're going to find the minimum in that set of elements and then we're going to swap the current element with the minimum like so. So in the first iteration, this is going to leave us with one, five, ten, three and eight. So we swapped three with eight. Then we're going to go to five. We're going to find the minimum, which is three, and we're going to swap those two. So we're left with one, three, ten. 5 and 8. And we're going to repeat this until we have the sorted array. So we're going to go to 10. The smallest element after 10 is 5. So we're going to swap those two. We're left with 1, 3, 5, 10, and 8. And lastly, we're going to swap 10 and 8. So we're going to be left with 1, 3, 5, 8, and 10, which is the sorted array. So now let's talk about time complexity. In the first loop, we're going to iterate through n elements and in the second loop we're going to iterate through n minus 1 then n minus 2 then n minus 3 and so on until 1 right so this is going to give us a worst time complexity of o of n squared and in the best case we're going to have to do the same thing because even though we might not be exchanging any elements we're still going to have to go through every element of the array in the first loop and n minus one n minus two and so on in the second loop so for the best case we're going to have an omega of n squared and since we have an o of n squared and an omega of n squared this is going to leave us leave us with a theta of n squared Okay, now let's talk about stability. So an algorithm is considered stable if it preserves the relative order of elements with the same key. So take this example. We're going to have a white 3, then we're going to have a red 3, and then a 1. This is going to be our array. Let's apply the selection to our algorithm here. So we're going to go to 3, we're going to find the minimum, which is 1, and we're going to swap both of those. So we're going to get one red three and then the white three and this is our final sorted array so as you can see in the beginning the white three comes before the red three however after we apply the algorithm the red three comes first so this proves that the algorithm is not going to be stable right because the elements with the same key in this case both of the threes are going to be exchanged their relative order is going to be altered and therefore this algorithm is not going to be stable now that's enough for theory let's actually implement this in code in order to do that i'm going to be using c however you don't need to know c all i ask is that you're comfortable with the basics of programming so I have this C++ file ready here. Let's create a new void function called selection sort like this. It is going to take in the array that we want to sort and also the size of the array. So the number of elements. So in here, let's actually code the selection sort algorithm. We're going to start with two iterators, i and j, and then we're going to have a minimum, which is going to be the index of the minimum element of each subarray that we're going to go through. Then we're going to iterate. So for i equals zero we're going to start at zero we're going to go to the end of the array then i plus plus we're going to set the min to i so by default the minimum element is going to be the first element we're at then we're going to iterate through the rest of the elements starting at i plus one going to the end of the array j is smaller than size and j plus plus then we're going to check if the current element we're at is smaller than the element at the minimum index so if the array at index j is smaller than the array at the minimum index, we're going to set the minimum index to be j. So basically, if we find an element that is smaller than the current element at the minimum index, we're going to say that the minimum index is going to be the index we're at. Then in the end, we're going to swap these two. So I'm going to say temp. I'm actually going to go here and say temp after min. So temp is going to be the array at the index i. So this is going to be the element that we're currently at. 
And then I'm going to say that the array at the index i is going to be the array at the index min. So we're going to basically put the minimum element in the i uh, position. And then I'm going to say array at min is going to be temp, which is array at index i. So we're going to basically change those two. So that's going to be it for our selection sort algorithm. Now let's actually apply this here. So I'm going to say int r. This is going to have nine elements, for example. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And <laughs> nine. Okay, so nine elements. Then we're going to say for int i equals zero, i is smaller than nine, i plus plus. We're going to see out the array at the index i and a backslash n. However, before this, we're going to uh, apply the selection sort algorithm on our array, and it has a size of nine, and this should print the uh, elements of the array in a sorted order. So I'm going to run this. And as you can see, this prints the elements of the array in a sorted order, so our algorithm is correct. Now, let me show you another way we can do this. I'm actually going to ask some for some user input. So I'm going to say int n. I'm going to see in n, this is going to be the size of the array. Then I'm going to say array with the size n for int i equals zero, i is smaller than n and i plus plus. I'm going to see in the array at position i. So I'm going to ask the user to input the elements of the array. Then I'm going to apply the selection sort algorithm to the inputted array that has size n. And then I'm going to say for int i equals zero, i is smaller than n, i plus plus. I'm going to see out the array at the position i and a backslash n. And let me pull this up. I'm going to run this code. It's going to ask us for some input. I'm going to say, for example, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine and if i run this now this is going to output all of the elements that i inputted in a sorted manner so that is the selection sort algorithm that is how you implement it in code and also there is a little bit of an explanation of how it works as well as the time complexity and the stability so i hope this video was helpful i hope it was easy to understand i hope you learned a lot if you did please like and subscribe to support the channel thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one